What is up Pokemon geeks and trainers and welcome to the Geek Man Cave and today I'm going to show you how you can create live capture Pokemon playthroughs and stream it straight to YouTube or Twitch or as videos for your YouTube channels without breaking the bank and paying three, four hundred pounds for a capture card. So basically I am hitting 30 next week and I'm attempting to complete the Pokedex challenge, the living Pokedex, catching every single type of species of Pokemon without using cheats or cartridges and taking on Bird Keeper Toby's master challenge quest. Now if you want to know more about this master challenge challenge quest and and how I'm going to be completing it and my journey and becoming a Pokemon master check out my previous video on accepting the challenge and check out Birdkeeper Toby's channel too so basically all that out of the way I wanted a way to share my experiences with you I wanted you to experience each generation with different playthroughs uh, challenging gyms catching legendary Pokemon's Elite Four etc but there's only two ways that I can send a video link to you guys of me playing my game number one is to pay three four hundred pounds on a capture card which basically mods my 3DS to allow me to directly send a live feed from my console straight to YouTube or to my computer so I can send it up. The only other option, now that's a good option and it's fantastic, but it costs about three, four hundred pounds. And I don't know about you guys, but I haven't got three, four hundred pounds to splash around my 3DS. My wife knew I was doing that. I, it wouldn't be worth living. Anyway, the only other option I've got is to use a webcam or a camera to film my 3DS while I play it. But I wanted to use my webcam to be able to react with you guys, read live chats and give you guys feedback. So I have basically turned my iPhone into a webcam. So my 3DS is going to die because it just literally started flashing now. But as you can see, hello, this is a live feed video of my 3DS. Basically, I've got my iPhone um, on top of a stand and it's looking down on my 3DS as I move it. See you. Um, it's direct link there. Now, the the way I'm doing this is through an app on my phone. My phone's not plugged in. I'll just show you. Here's my phone. Hello, hello. As you can see on the screen, there's my phone. Um, there's my three. Yeah, it's just sitting nicely on my table with my Funko Pop. Um, so I don't have to have something awkward over the top of it. It's just basically that just sitting on top and I got easy access to my 3DS. I can jump on with two hands and play it and it's live streaming straight through, which is fab. And it covers both screens as well. You can edit the uh, what you can see with the camera as well. So how do you do this? So you're going to need two things, guys, and this is completely free as well. The first thing you're going to need is an app for your phone. Now, it, this works on both Samsung and iPhones. It's called the Epoch Cam. There's a link in the description below but for both Samsung and uh, iPhones, so you can download that straight away. And basically, this turns your phone into a wireless network webcam, which basically, as long as you're on the same network as your computer, you can stream a video from your phone, from your camera, straight to your PC. So, the only other bit of software you're going to need, which again, link in the description below, is the Epoch Cam Viewer for your computer, which is basically the webcam box that pops up on your on your computer screen, which is this bit here, so you can have a video stream on your PC of you playing there. Um, what I've used then is I'm just using a broadcast software, a capture software, there's loads of them out. I use OBS, again, link in the description below, uh, which allows me to add different elements to a stream and then I can put that as a stream straight up to YouTube or I can save it as a video. It's what I do for a lot of my channels. So you can see I just, you basically just click what you want to add onto the screen. It's really easy. So like I added an image for the background and these things. Um, this is a direct link for my video capture device, my webcam. Hello. And again, this is the video from that Epoch cam. I just select, add it on to what I, uh, that I wanted on the screen and it comes up. It's as easy as that, guys. And as you can see, I can jump on my 3DS. My phone's plugged in. I really should plug in my 3DS because it's probably going to die soon. You can probably see the flash in. You can see the flash in red light. And I can jump in and jump on my Pokemon Red game. And like I said, guys, I've saved myself, what, £300. The quality isn't great. And like I said, this is a free app. However, they have got a pro version for four ninety nine one month, one payoff, just four ninety nine, And that lets you play... Um, HD lets you add flash it stops that kind of focusing in on light so I'm gonna be doing that for my stream um, but as you can see I can stream straight into Pokemon Red now and again you can change it so you can just have the screen this part in you can crop it so I can just go like this and I can crop it in then so then you guys are just seeing Pokemon Red so you don't have all the weird buttons on the side or anything Let 
we go. So there we have live stream put on red, so I can stream to you guys. Again, the quality is okay. Um, again, not expecting a lot for something that's free, but it's a nice, easy way to stream your Pokemon games without having to cost for a capture card. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Again, everything that I've shown you, all the downloads that you need, and a bit more of a, a description, it will be in the description below. Um, please, if you're a Pokemon trainer or Pokemon master, like I said, tweet me your journey. Tweet me about what Pokemon you're looking for, what how you're doing on gym badges, on Elite Four. Are you accepting Burn Keep Toby's Master Challenge? And follow me as well. Subscribe and you can get up-to-date videos of me doing my Master Quest, Challenging Elite Four. I am going to be... Um, throwback Thursday video as well soon guys and I'm going to be using this kind of software to do a live stream of me playing against the famous red versus silver battle but doing it on the Pokemon Stadium 2 and N64 as a bit of a throwback Thursday video so keep an eye out for that, subscribe and ask for notifications so then you can get notifications when I'm uploading those videos so thanks again guys, I hope you enjoyed this video of Pokemon Trainers and I'll see you next time